Maine, BU, and New Hampshire have all clinched home ice in the playoffs, but the regular season champion is yet to be determined. Simply said, any combination of a Maine win and or a BU loss would give Maine the top spot. Four schools are still battling for the fourth home ice spot. Northeastern, UMass, Lowell, Merrimack, and BC. The biggest league news this week comes from Merrimack. The Warriors swept the Eagles over the weekend. But more importantly, head coach Ron Anderson became Merrimack's all-time winningest coach with his 219th win on Saturday. In those two games, just one BC goal was allowed, which leads us to the Hockey East All-Sport Player of the Week. Sophomore netminder Martin Legault. Legault stopped 53 of 54 shots in the 4-0 and 4-1 wins over BC. He is currently second in the league with a 3.18 goals against average. As you probably already know, the BU Terriers were overturned by Providence in an 8-1 pounding last Friday, but avenged the somewhat embarrassing loss the next night at home, 6-3. Although this shows any team can be beaten, BU should not be taken lightly. The Terriers are averaging 5.7 goals a game and are 18-0-0 when leading after the first period. Dick Umilly's Wildcats posted their 20th and 21st wins of the season against Ben Smith's Huskies. Not only did the wins mark the second straight 20-win season for Umilly, but they also ensured the Wildcats of a third place or better finish in the standings. It seems that Dick Umilly has found another home away from home as he is 5-0-1 at Matthews Arena. Eric Nicholas, a Centerville, Massachusetts native, received Rookie of the Week honors. UNH's freshman forward had a hat trick in Friday's 5-2 win over the Huskies and notched one more goal the next night at Matthews. Bruce Crowder's Riverhawks are back on track. They also got 10 points over the weekend, beating the UMass Amherst Minutemen 7-4 in both contests. Sophomore All-America and Hobie Baker candidate Greg Bullock tallied five points over the weekend and moved into 20th place on the all-time Riverhawks scoring list. He is also the league's top scorer with 46 points and is first in the nation with 62. And also very crucial this time of year is injuries, but as you can see, no team has really been hit hard. UNH with only one, Maine with only one. Jay Pandolfo was still out from BU, that hand injury he suffered in the bean pot. UMass Amherst, however, has the most, two, but they're both day to day.